Greetings. This is Pastor Pleasant. Day eight of Project Paradise. Been away for a while, took a vacation, celebrated my anniversary, 34 years of marriage. Got home, got a little sick, and had my car to break down, but we're back. Now I want you to look at what's going on with this project. Eight days. You know, that number in the spiritual realm means new beginnings. Look at this place. We've taken a place that was blighted and began to work on it, little by little. It's all coming together. Look at the beautiful hydrangeas in the background. Big white flowers on them. It's beautiful. It's all coming together. I have a lot more to do. But just take a look coming together. Stella lilies are popping. Just laid in that new area right there today for the tables. I want to show you something back here in the back. When I got back into the garden or the courtyard over here, I noticed something. I noticed that there were weeds coming up everywhere. And I just thought about that. In life, when you and I take off too much, we eventually get weeds in our lives. So it's important that we keep maintenance, spiritual maintenance and natural maintenance. Staying physically fit is important because the moment you take too many naps, you begin to train your body to more, want more naps. And all of a sudden you find yourself can't get enough rest so let's just make sure we keep maintenance on our spiritual man. Let's make sure we keep maintenance on our physical bodies. Keep that health up. But back to the garden, <laughs> the courtyard. It is really looking beautiful. And we're going to start rocking pretty soon. We're going to mulch a little bit down the side over there. But I'm just excited about this project. I'm excited about what's happening as we continue to work you know it teaches us another lesson that sometimes in life things may not look so good but that doesn't mean that you can't improve on something you know sometimes we can have things that look like it's been dead for a long time but if you just put a little work in it it'll all come back together i see all the bulbs on these little kims here they're going to start getting some beautiful white flowers on them with red insides or deep burgundy inside. They're going to be gorgeous. This is paradise. Project paradise. I remember the first day we walked into this place. I saw beauty. Somebody else may have seen ashes. But you know it's amazing that we can take things that are ashes and make something beautiful out of them. Maiden grasses are growing. Need a little bit more water there. But being, being away, we didn't give them the nutrients that they needed. Thank Miss Thank uh, to uh, the assistant principal, Miss Higgins. She did keep some water on all these hostas over here. And this morning we took and we put some uh, ground cover over here, some fiber, I mean some fabric guard cover, so that there won't be any weeds growing up around this section. And we're going to end up mulching that in. Uh, we're going to white rock in this area right here, as well as over there. I'm not going to tell you everything we're going to do, but it's coming along. And I'm going to just say it like this. This project is made possible by you that have made contributions. And we really thank you for your contributions. Uh, keep them coming. I know we challenge people for the uh, $25, and we're grateful because uh, families began to take that challenge up. And uh, I believe on next video I'll be able to give you a, a dollar amount of what we have uh, collected. Uh, but keep these donations coming. We want to finish this project. As I said, uh, on Friday, we should be laying the, uh, the, the slab out on the outside of the door for the uh, teachers. So when they come back from summer vacation, those that are not in the summer school, they're going to be shocked and surprised. I'm a little sweaty. I think it's about 95 or 98 degrees, but I've been hydrating. Amen to all of my members, church members. Uh, I know you all might be concerned about us, but I've been doing Gatorade and pickle juice and, and water 
and fruit. So um, we're staying healthy over here, staying hydrated. Worked a little bit longer today because I had to do some cleanup. So, you know, I'm going to go back to that maintenance deal. If you keep maintenance on your life, you don't have to try to catch up and, and, and things get out of hand on you. So I had to spend some time doing some cleanup first before I even got started today. But excited with what we have accomplished uh, uh, at Project Paradise. And again, I will say this, my shirts have been made, our shirts have been produced, and maybe next time I'll wear one of my shirts so that you can see. And, and I'm gonna challenge everyone, anyone that will give $35, hey man, we will get you a shirt, uh, a shirt. And the shirt says that brighter days ahead. I told you that that's what we're really trying to pitch over here. We're trying to show that things may look dismal, man, but if you put some uh, spiritual God work in it, uh, you can make things brighter. And we're making this place brighter over here. On the back of our shirts, it says, from blight to bright. Uh, and so, you know, for everyone to do $35, man, I will send you a shirt. I just got them made, and uh, I only have one for myself. But if you send the donations in, make sure you send that. Give me an address and your size. Uh, and then, or either you can come and pick them up from the church. Um, but we'll have them made up for you. Uh, awesome shirts. Uh, awesome project making a big difference. I thank you that have been following us and, and we're sorry about the delay that we had, but we took a little vacation, some time off. Um, but we're back and we're back to finish this job, amen, finish this work and, and go on to whatever God has for us next. So um, just wanted to say to each one of you, thank you. This is Pastor Pleasant and I'm just signing off from the courtyard or Project Paradise at cold water school as we always do let me just get that you get another look at what's happening at cold water elementary school in florissant missouri right across the street from 1170 we hop new life christian church We'll see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.